So I'm Arun Madapallat, uh, General Manager for uh, General Manager South Asia for uh, Search Ferrari. Search Ferrari is a, a group of company, a French company, and um, we are into manufacturing flexible composite material for uh, different verticals. Okay, it includes roofing. Uh, then we have uh, fabric for the uh, facade applications, uh, acoustic uh, ceilings and wall, uh, solar protection that's for screens, uh, external and internal. Then we have products for industry application, uh, tens wide range of fabrics, including furniture and you know fabric for marine applications. We have um, uh, the fabrics. Okay, definitely uh, it's a, it's a technical uh, fabric. For example, I give you a facade application. Okay, you have a building with a glass, so a lot of heat will come inside. So if you use uh, the fabric as a, a secondary skin, as an external facade application, you can say up to 80% of the heat is cut outside itself. So it gives you a very good comfort in the in the building and you don't have to use a blinds and you don't have to use a high value glass also because the heat is blocked externally. So that itself saves a you know, lot of energy for the building and your um, ROA will be, you know, two to three years, you will get the ROA of the investment, what you're making. And then it's really uh, an investment for the, uh, for the building or the clients uh, uh, for this subject. So we have fabric, which is, you know, has got self-cleaning ability. Of course, you, uh, the dust will stick on the fabric. It's not that, you know, you don't have to clean once since it's all, you have to clean it. Maintenance is very low. Uh, especially the PTFE fabric, okay, the dust accumulation will not be similar like any other uh, roofing materials. It cleans by itself, okay, by wind or by rain, uh, it cleans by itself and it gives you, you know, uh, very comfortable uh, in terms of architectural uh, performance as well as uh, the technical performance. It's um, uh, all the fabrics what we are supplying for the uh, industry. It's fire retardant fabrics. Uh, when it comes to PVC, PVDF coated materials, all fabrics are fire retardant. It's very important that your safety uh, parameter has to be considered once you are, you know, uh, putting whatever the materials. Okay, so uh, in the in the PVC, PVDF, it's a retardant material. The fire will catch the fabric, but the important part is that it makes a hole. It will stop by itself, self extinguishing fabric, and no drops. That is very important, no drops on the fabric, not drops because people uh, down the building will not suffer when there is a fire. And we have now advanced material PTFE, it's a non-combustible material and fire resistant material. So by uh, serving the flexible composite materials, we always consider the safety of the, uh, of the building and the people and we supply materials according to the international standards, fire standards. Uh, yes, um, it was it was tough two years, uh, 2020 especially. We really suffered. The industry suffered. The projects got delayed. The project got shelved. But uh, of course, you know, it's a it's a passing time. It's a global uh, situation, and we really, uh, you know, looking forward for because now the situation has really improved, drastically improved. You can see the exhibitions are open, the events are open, and uh, the business is you know now really picking in a, in a very big pace uh, now, nowadays. And I see that uh, India is the future for uh, you know building industry uh, uh, in the coming years. Today, because you know uh, the prices have gone up like anything, it's a crazy situation. The raw materials, whatever we are procuring to make our uh, membrane, it's the cost has you know almost uh, gone up hundred percent. But still, we are supporting in a way uh, to our customers that the impact we are not giving it in a one go. Step by step, we are doing it, but price increase was there. Steel has gone up, aluminium has gone up, and definitely uh, PVC uh, pricing is really, really, you know, uh, not stable nowadays, and it's increasing uh, very regularly. And yes, but step by step, we are doing it so that the customers will not should not get uh, affected because we are absorbing a lot of increase ourselves to manage the market in a, in a better way, controlled way. So we are distributing the price increase in a staggered manner. So we have a um, manufacturing facility in different locations. Uh, Ferrari makes um, you know this high tenacity polyester yarn. We have our own facility in Switzerland. Then we have the coating facility, which is in uh, Latadupan in Lyon. 
and then we have uh, PTFE and PVC fabric facility in Switzerland as well as the new company which we have occurred this company called Wurzerag we have occurred that company that is based in Krefeld in Germany so we manufacture um, all the materials uh, See, uh, it's not about the Indian market, but if you are communicating something, it has to be in a way that you are communicating what we are actually into. So when I talk about um, creating some center, I try to make it more experiential so that, you know, uh, people could actually see what our product like, what is the application like, and you know how it is uh, actually being used. So uh, if I talk about the things we do uh, uh, online or offline, we try to connect to the uh, audience, try to connect to the right people in a way that, you know, they, they should know uh, what is it and what Ferrari is about, apart from just, you know, uh, thinking about building manufacturers. Uh, we are also um, uh, some company who is giving innovative solutions uh, for a lot of applications. I try to uh, give them the updates on the you know the projects we are doing. Uh, we are really into lot of application, being it saltis, being it facade, being being it uh, you know the small shading application. So I try to connect them with the latest thing we are doing. You know the latest project I am doing, the latest uh, application uh, yeah we are into. So I try to uh, make that connection with those people in a way that you know you know they they keep on uh, getting the updates like what we are into how we are creating like now when we are creating when i talk about uh, the product we are create we are doing a facade uh, in a very innovative way so you know we're trying to connect them with indian market i'm trying to show them you know uh, what projects we are doing in india and accordingly you know so that they can uh, relate it that you know whatever we are doing we are doing it within you know locally they're, they're, uh, they can relate to us in a way that, okay, if this is happening, if, it, if this is an innovation, this is happening, you know, within their uh, uh, region. So I think when you give that, people really connect to you, right? So it has to be, it has to be something you, you are doing within. So I try to make, uh, you know, that possibility that I try to update them with anything I'm doing and all the possibility, like wh how it has been done, who has been done. So yeah, I just try to um, make that relationship when I'm communicating anything or any way.